Hi everybody, I'm going to do a little video today for you guys on how to remove or properly remove the um, Jamboree True Shine Gel Enamel as well as the Jamboree Nail Wraps. So I, it's been almost two weeks since I did my last um, Jamma Cure, so obviously I've got a mix of the, the gel and the wraps. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how I remove the wraps. There's so many different methods out there. Um, and I just find that this one works best for me without damaging my nails. Um, not that Jamboree ever does damage your nails. Um, but yeah, I guess the main thing to remember is although they, they might be lifting a little bit, try, try, try not to just rip them off because that will damage your nails. You have to remove them properly um, and then you're all good really. So I will move the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. But I just want to show you guys what I've got laid out um, at the moment. So I've got my heater, um, my mini heater to help me remove the wraps. God, I can't speak today. Remove the wraps. Um, and then I've got my gel enamel remover pockets, um, which obviously helps to remove the gel. And then I've just got a orange stick, some... Um, cotton buds as well as just a cotton pad and then I've got nail polish remover um, and a little buffer for once I take them off and some scissors if I need the scissors for anything um, okay so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the pads the gel and enamel pads first because that you need to leave them on for let me just double check it says 10 minutes, you don't really need 10 minutes, sometimes it depends on how many coats you put on. Um, so I'm going to set that up first and then I'll show you while that's soaking, I'll show you how to do the wrap. So I'm just going to move the camera down a little bit. Okay, so I've got my pads here. So it's super, super easy. So all you have to do is just tear off the top across the dotted line um, and then there's just a little like sticky sticky thing here you just need to pull that off stuck on my finger <laughs> um, and then this should just pop open so as you can see on the inside there, there's the little um, cotton pad I guess that's um, covered or soaked in nail polish remover so you just need to make sure when you stick it on your nail that that pad is actually touching your nail so just put it to one side and then all you have to do is fold it over and then stick it using that sticky bit that we tore off before I'm just gonna do the next one Again, just make sure that it's touching. Oh, I should probably take that off. Make sure that the um, pad is touching your nail or your gel that's on the nail. And then flip it over. So obviously this one's the wrap, so that doesn't need the remover pad. And then in there. Oops, stuck on me. Gets a little bit tricky when you running out of hands, fingers, running out of fingers, not hands. What am I talking about? Oh dear. Ah, it's like stuck to my finger. And then the thumb. Oh dear. <laughs> I can't do this one. Okay. So basically, leave that for 10 minutes. And that's over. So, um... While that's working its magic, I'll show you how I remove the um, nail wraps. So what I like to do is just heat it for a couple of seconds just so it becomes um, a little bit more floppy, I guess. Um, and then I break the seal with my orange stick and just work um, with some nail polish remover and the cotton bud. So I'm going to turn my heater on. I need to open this actually. So this okay. is so just a couple seconds, just so you um, make it a bit more hot again, and then you can just. What I do is I just get my um, stick and just break the seal a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. 
Sorry about that, guys. I should have done it the other way. Um, so now you can see I've it's starting to lift a little bit. Now what I do is I just get my um, cotton bud and just stick it in nail polish remover. Just soak it really well. Don't drop it in there. <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Um, and then I just, with the um, cotton bud, just get under the nail and just go from side to side. And it just flips off like that. So easy, guys. Um, as you can see, like there might still be a little bit of um, residue on the nail. But as you can see, I don't know if that's focusing, but I haven't damaged my nail. If you were just to pull it straight off, chances are you will damage your nail. Um, and then I just like to get the nail polish remover again and just give it a good little rub. Um just because, like I said before, there might still be a little bit of residue on there from the nail wrap. Um, but then once you take it off, you are good to go. It's still a little bit sticky. Um, I'm going to cover that up before I spill it. Um, and, yeah, that is all. Like, so quick and easy and my nail is still perfect. I don't know. It's that's probably a better angle for you guys. Um, sometimes I like to buff it. Just if there is a little bit of um, residue still on there, the buff just helps to take it off, obviously. But, yeah, that is that is pretty much it. I'll show you. So I'm going to quickly have a look to see how we're going with these. Okay, so you can see a little bit it's starting to, like, lift up. So, again, all you need to do is use your cuticle... Um, Sorry, your orange stick, and it'll just. Um, I'm just gonna move this over here so I don't um, get it everywhere. So as you can see, it just peels off. And I might need to soak this one for a little bit longer. I know. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful comes off all in kind of one piece. <laughs> all right, so I'll do the other ones. This one might take a little bit longer because it's the, the um, you know, I say it might take a little bit longer because that one's the glitter, but that's come straight off in one piece. Awesome. Again, you can see that. Now I've got three nails there. Oh, look at this one. That one worked a treat. Brilliant. No scrubbing required at all for that one. That's awesome. Well, I'm still getting it everywhere. Jesus. Okay, that one worked too. That's awesome. So if it's doing that, like you obviously want it to do that. Obviously. Mm. I'm an idiot. Anywho, just keep picking it off. Obviously, if it's not coming off, um, just pop the pocket on again and let it soak for a little bit longer before you start to remove it. Um, but yeah, that is all. That is how quick it is to take off. You know, like, doesn't hurt at all. Nails are still pretty healthy underneath. It's awesome. And again, like, you can... Um, just go with the nail polish remover over them all again if there's that little bit that didn't come off. Um, but yeah, that's it. So when you get the True Shine kit, you get these included in it. So there's 50 pockets that come in one packet. And then you obviously you can purchase them again from um, my website if you run out of them. But yeah, they just come in like, there's two on one, so you just rip it in half. But um, yeah, that is how easy they are to take it off. Like, no mess, no problems, super easy. Um, so I hope that helped you guys a little bit, um, helped you understand how to take them off. I, actually, I missed a step. <laughs> I also like to use cuticle oil once I've taken them off. Um, you can purchase these on my website as well. They're just a little a little um, stick thing or that we um, 
we have them in bo like a bottle as well, like a nail polish bottle. You just have to move the stick um, and then I just like put it on my cuticles. Um, yeah, I just find it helps them to keep them a, bit, a little bit more healthy. Um, and it just comes in a little box like this. Nail care oil. Um, yeah, just I just put it on my cuticles and then I rub it in. Um, just to make sure that it's all like soaked in my my cuticles and that is all so I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the rest of my take the rest of these ones off um, I probably won't record it because it's really easy and you don't have to see it again <laughs> um, but yeah I hope that guys helped you out that helped you out a little bit oh my god I can't speak today what is wrong with me um, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything or you've got any um, videos that you want me to um, record, any tips or anything you guys want to know, let me know. Um, either comment on the video or just send me a message or post it in my group or whatever you guys want to do. Awesome. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.